In this episode of Automower Answers, we are going to discuss what is spiral cutting, what is the purpose of it, how does it work, and when should you use it. So what exactly is spiral cutting? Well, again, the best way to find out what this feature is and how it works is to go to the tech manual. So right here in the tech manual, you can see under spiral cutting, this is what it describes it as. Sometimes the robotic lawnmower can change the mowing pattern and start to mow in a spiral pattern instead. This is called spiral cutting. The purpose of spiral cutting is to quickly get the same length of grass over the entire working area. When the robotic lawnmower starts spiral cutting, this means it has perceived the lawn in an area to be longer and or thicker than before. The length or thickness of the lawn in this area does not need to differ that much from the other areas for the robotic lawnmower to start spiral cutting. Sometimes the difference is hardly visible. The robotic lawnmower always attempts to keep the blade disc at an even speed. Different degrees of power are used for this depending on the length and thickness of the grass. Automower compares the in instantaneous power with the average power value from the latest hours of mowing. This means that when a robotic lawnmower enters an area where the lawn is longer or thicker than before, the instantaneous power will differ from the average power and the automower will then start spiral cutting. The factory setting for intensity is medium for the automower to begin spiral cutting. Intensity can be set between low, mid, and high using the spiral or using the settings spiral cutting menu. It is also possible to entirely shut down a spiral cutting function in this menu. The low setting means that the robotic lawnmower begins spiral cutting less often. Spiral cutting is only activated in the automatic operating position, i.e. main area mode. Mowing in the secondary area mode does not allow the robotic lawnmower to begin spiral cutting. So now maybe you have a little bit of an understanding as to what spiral cutting is and how it works. So how do you turn it on? How do you adjust it? Well, this is the easiest way right here using the app on your phone. Open up your Automower Connect app, go into your settings, tap on operation, and there you will find your spiral cutting menu. You'll be able to turn on and off the spiral cutting feature from this menu. You will also be able to change the intensity from low, medium to high right here, all from the convenience of your phone. This again is the easiest way to do it rather than doing it on the mower. But if you have a 300 series, like a 310 or a 315 and you don't have auto mower connect. Um, you can go out there and you can do it right on the mower. Or if you got an older 430 that doesn't have auto mower connect, you can also do it on the mower, just as they described there in the uh, instructions from the tech manual. So now you're probably wondering, should I be using the spiral cut feature? Well, yeah, I believe so. The best time to use this feature is in the springtime when you have that growth in certain areas of your lawn, but not in other parts of your lawn. You have those big clumps randomly throughout your yard. This will help the auto mower get everything down to the same height in a faster amount of time. What it'll do is it will approach these higher clumps and thicker clumps of grass and will blend them all in before continuing to another area. So in the springtime, if you have the intensity for spiral cut set to high, as it drives along and it comes to these areas, it will blend all of it in, making your grass look nice and even, and you don't have to worry about those high spots just randomly in your yard. Throughout the summer, when the grass is growing at a more even pace, if you really wanted to, you could set it back down to medium. But honestly, I don't see any reason to change it. If you have it at high, you never have to worry about having uneven patches of grass in your lawn. So I would just keep it at high. A lot of people set these mowers up and they'll set the minimum time for the guide wire to one minute. They'll set the time for their uh, boundary wire down to about five minutes. So that way they know this thing's going to find a, a faster way, the, the fastest possible way to get back home. They will turn on the weather timer, let the mower decide when it's going to mow, and they will turn on spiral cutting and put up the intensity the whole way. This way the mower can just take care of the yard and do everything on its own. It can figure out when it's going to mow, when it's not going to mow, and if it comes to any high spots, it can take them down so that they don't have to worry about it just having random areas here that it's getting and not getting when the grass does start growing. Hopefully this video has helped you to understand what spiral cutting is, how it works, when it can be used, when it should be used, and whether or not it would benefit your mower and your lawn. The whole purpose of this is to keep a nice even cut across your lawn and not have those tall thick patches or uneven growth in your yard. If you see your mower out there 
and it goes straight and then all of a sudden it slows down and starts going to a spiral as you see in these videos. That is just normal. That is your spiral cut feature at work. If you have a mower that just keeps going in a spiral and doesn't straighten out hardly ever, then you may have something jammed in your wheel or wrapped around the wheel or maybe a wheel motor issue and you might want to get that checked out. But again, this is a, a great feature to have. This keeps your yard at a consistent height throughout the entire mowing area. So I would definitely recommend turning it on, leave it on, and just let this mower do its thing. And always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have any more questions or any comments or anything you want to add, leave a comment under the video or um, just shoot us an email, info at gmail.com. Keep checking back because we'll have plenty more videos coming up about automower stuff as we move along here and answer more questions. Thanks for watching.